Hi, VancouverWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, November 28th. Significant rain is coming to the Mid-Atlantic region over the next few days. In fact, the entire eastern third of the nation will receive significant rain over the next few days. And it has been quite dry in much of the eastern U.S., including the Mid-Atlantic region over the last several weeks. So this is welcome rain. Actually, two different low-pressure systems will cause significant rain over the next two or three days. One arrives late tonight towards morning in the wee hours of the morning in the I-95 corridor region between D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. Continues for much of the day on Tuesday. And then a second low-pressure pressure system will ride up from the south and affect us with more significant rain on Wednesday and Wednesday night. By the time Thursday rolls around, some colder air will move in from the north and west and it'll turn colder as we approach the end of the week and the beginning of the upcoming weekend. So again, two separate low pressure areas will bring significant rain to the region from late tonight into Wednesday night. This is the total precipitation forecast by NOAA forecasters between now and Thursday morning, pretty much encompassing both upcoming uh, low pressure systems. More than two inches depicted here by the NOAA team, and it is uh, a pretty reasonable forecast here. Two and a half inches up over northeastern Pennsylvania, well over an inch from D.C. all the way into New York City. A tendency for a little bit more as you travel north and east along the I-95 part of between D.C. and New York City. But again, everybody gets a soaking rain. Again, two separate waves of rain coming our way late tonight and Tuesday and then another one Wednesday into Wednesday night. Some very significant rain down here across much of the southeastern U.S. and they have been experiencing some drought conditions over the last few months with some wildfire activity as a result down there. Not a permanent drought by any means. This uh, drought will be allevi alleviated quite a bit by this rainfall and I expect over the next few months it will continue to uh, uh, diminish in its intensity. But again, significant rain for the eastern third of the nation between later tonight and Wednesday night. Well, let's walk through the uh, next few days using last night's Zero Z GFS model run. Uh, 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 this is a forecast map for this evening, Monday evening. Then we'll look at 12 hour increments all the way into Thursday morning. By this evening, the winds will begin to pick up out of the south. And it'll be quite a cool day today here with high temperatures no better than the 50s after a frosty start. But by tonight, we'll start to get into more of a southerly flow of air. Milder air will push in. It turns warm on Tuesday and Wednesday. Both days could, could see 60-plus degrees for high temperatures in D.C., Philadelphia, and New York City. But along with those warmer conditions will come much wetter conditions. Frontal system kind of inching its way into the eastern states extending from low pressure by this evening which will be situated over the northern plains. Not much of a push behind that front. That front ends up stalling right along the eastern seaboard and a couple different low pressure areas will ride up out of the south to the north along that frontal boundary zone. Again, two separate waves of rain coming late tonight and Tuesday and then a separate one Wednesday into Wednesday night. Now here's the forecast map for tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. This is event number one here. Widespread area of rains all along that stalled out frontal boundary zone. All of this moving from the south to the north, picking up some gulf moisture, even some Atlantic moisture as low level winds will back in out of the southeast as that high departs. So combination of gulf moisture and Atlantic moisture, stalled out frontal system spells trouble for the Mid-Atlantic region in terms of rainfall, but again, as we mentioned at the onset, it's been quite dry around here and throughout much of the eastern U.S., so this is a, a beneficial rain coming for the region. Now, 12 hours later, this is the forecast map for Tuesday evening. This is again using last night's Zero Z GFS model run. Here's wave number one consolidated up here over northeastern Pennsylvania and New England and moving away and look on its heels another area developing here in the Gulf of Mexico region this is wave number two headed our way for Wednesday and Wednesday night again it's still a stalled out frontal boundary zone right in this region right here so wave number two will ride right up along there and affect the DC Philadelphia New York City uh, metro regions 
Wednesday into Wednesday night with a second round of rain for the Mid-Atlantic region. Now here's the forecast map for Wednesday morning. That second system, the Gulf of Mexico system now spreading to the north and east. There could be a gap in the rainfall Tuesday night into early Wednesday. Notice right here GFS has a little if any precipitation in the DC, Philly, New York City metro regions from Tuesday night into uh, early Wednesday. It certainly will not clear out. There certainly can be some fog or drizzle around Tuesday night, maybe even a couple of showers Tuesday night into early Wednesday before this next steadier and heavier rain arrives. Now, probably by mid-morning in D.C., late morning, midday hours in Philadelphia, New York City, and continue all areas through the afternoon into the night on Wednesday. And here's the forecast map for Wednesday evening. Again, here we go again, another extended area of precipitation here depicted by the GFS and a uh, significant rain event later Wednesday into Wednesday night. It could turn out that that is a little bit more significant than the first event. However, both will contain some significant rainfall for the region and the combination of the two will lead to more than two inches in many areas of the Mid-Atlantic region by the time Thursday morning rolls around. In fact, let's now jump ahead to the Thursday morning forecast map. And here we go. By Thursday morning, pretty much over with here in the immediate D.C., Philadelphia, New York City region. Certainly can be a lingering shower as late as very early Wednesday morning along coastal sections of New Jersey and near New York City. But for the most part, winds will become westerly during the day on Thursday. Some sunshine should return. It'll certainly be cooler on Thursday compared to tomorrow and Wednesday when high temperatures could reach 60 plus degrees. Probably the 50s on Thursday, then even colder air moves in on northwest winds by the time Friday and Saturday roll around. Uh, most likely high temperatures both of those days in much of the region confined to the 40s, but dry also on Friday and Saturday. So significant rain events coming in two different waves here to the Mid-Atlantic region late tonight and Tuesday, and then the second one later Wednesday into Wednesday night. By the time it all ends by early Thursday, more than two inches could have accumulated in much of the Mid-Atlantic region. That's it for now. For VencorWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Orion.